Now, uh, generally what people say is instinct or intuition is human sixth sense. Like uh, everybody is uh, not blessed with this intuition thing. It's only few lucky ones who have that sixth sense and uh, uh, it, it's only them who use this. And this I think has come from the movies that we see. Uh, most some of the movies in Hollywood and also in Bollywood, uh, it is shown Sixth Sense be a movie I think. Uh, like it is shown that some people start getting some kind of visuals and those visuals uh, in later time it gets true and when people are acting on it, uh, taking some decision and uh, they come out to be true. Uh, yes, at some extent I will say this is exactly true. But generally, intuition is a kind of teacher that is enabled in all of us. We have been blessed with this intuition thing right from the day when we are born. Uh, you will see a small child, uh, a newly born child, uh, uh, sometimes it starts to cry or sometimes it starts to laugh. Uh, just before something good is going to happen or something bad is going to happen. So uh, nobody has taught him that. So that is the kind of instinct that it has got and it is, it is it comes from the gut feeling now why it is called gut feeling i'll come to it uh, and in the later slide gut means stomach so actually some chemical uh, reaction that happens inside the stomach this ko hum hindi mein kehte chemical locha exactly that thing happens uh, somewhere near uh, our stomach or intestine and uh, some kind of feeling we get and when we start acting on these feelings uh, we actually get those intuitions uh, happening to us. <coughs> now, the thing that comes to our mind is, is having intuition a bad thing? Like some people may say, uh, like some in some of the movies it is shown that uh, because of the intuition the person lands up in big uh, soup and sometimes uh, like some very bad things happen to him. So is having intuition something bad? I would say no. If somebody asks, is having intuition very good? I will say yes. So what is the right answer? Having intuition is good also. Having intuition is bad also. See, there are certain things. Uh, if it is coming out of your mind with some kind of negativity, if it does not have some kind of purity, definitely it is bad. Uh, if something uh, like uh, if some kind of negativity towards someone, you have you are having that feeling. So definitely that is bad. But purest form of intuition is always right. Uh, let me give you an example of purest form of intuition. Uh, for example, you may wake up in the morning and you may find uh, something going on in your mind or you may remember a dream that uh, you are uh, meeting some person and uh, that person you might not have met or might be you just start remembering that person all of a sudden and uh, then something happens and that person is right in front of you. I'll share one of my experiences right here. Uh, uh, I met one person 35 years back uh, and uh, I was then around uh, 10 years old and uh, I have very, I have very, very, very fond memories of that person. He was, uh, uh, he was a new recruitee of um, uh, civil services. He was working in uh, under Department of uh, External Affairs, and uh, he was a tenant at our place. So it, it happened uh, during the time when I used to go to my grandfather's place uh, for my winter breaks. So uh, am I audible? Hello. Yes, ma'am, you are audible. audible. You are audible. Yeah, very much. Yeah. So uh, what happened was uh, he was a very loving person. He was a bachelor. And uh, so his way of living was uh, almost like that. Uh, not quite arranged, organized. But yes, he was very, very perfect. in.
uh, I I met a person 35 years back, and uh, I was in, I was out of contact with this person for all these 35 years. And uh, all of a sudden, one morning, I get a kind of smell, and the smell was the same uh, smell that the person used to use as his do. Uh, I was 10 years then, and he was probably 28, 29. So uh, he was um, a young um, civil services. Um, uh, uh, he was working with the uh, uh, Ministry of External Affairs. He was uh, he was uh, he was working there. So I, I I happened to get this smell all of a sudden one day, and then I get a call from my friend uh, saying that my name is appearing as Dr. Sanchita Heart Specialist on True Color. So uh, I got an idea all of a sudden, if this happened uh, right after getting that smell, that uh, why not find the name of this person on True Color? I don't know I, why didn't I see, uh, do this earlier, but yes, that morning I did. And uh, uh, I found the person's phone number and uh, email ID. So I contacted him and he was also very much surprised to get a message from me after 35 years. Now we are connected. So it all happened to me in a form of intuition. So that was a short story. I elaborated a bit along with lots of masala in it. Uh, but yes, the, those masala were not made up. It actually happened to me. So uh, I was talking about stress, SOS. Uh, 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 is the story clear to you now? Though, uh, somebody asked me, Pooja, yes, is it OK? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. So uh, stress, SOS, SOS is that. That is, we feel some kind of stress in our body. And after that, or maybe during when we are feeling this stress, uh, some kind of message comes to us. And we, if we are acting on it, most of the time, it gets right. I'll tell you one uh, experience that I felt out of the stress SEO, uh, SOS. Um, uh, like I was uh, driving back my uh, college from one day. Um, I was working then. And uh, all of a sudden, like every day when I come out, when I used to come out, I used to give a call to my people at home that uh, I have started from my office. I'll be reaching uh, in, uh, in an hour or so. So uh, that day I gave a call and uh, I kept down the phone and uh, uh, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden my heart started to pound and uh, though not a butterfly feeling in my stomach, but I started to feel not so good. I, I, I was feeling as if something bad is going to happen. And uh, I just got out of my car and I checked all my uh, tires that is there anything that is going to be there. With my tire, I, I checked the brake, everything, because I have to cross, I had to cross a long flyover. And something got into my mind that day that, uh, is it that my car is going to fly off the flyover? So very negative thoughts started to come. And you won't believe, the moment I came back home, I saw everybody standing outside my home. And the uh, Padoski kanti ne bola, beta, tum sidhe upar chali jao, uh, your mother is waiting. I was just feeling as if, uh, like I felt my skin to be going white. I thought something bad, really bad has happened. And yes, it was so. Um, my mother had actually fallen from the stairs and uh, it was a serious kind of accident. She actually could have gone into coma. So that is your stress SEO. Uh, somehow I feel uh, that I have a kind of uh, habit of getting intuitions though, uh, both good and bad. Uh, and sometimes, yes, it gets true also. Second is your double vision. Uh, this double vision is, uh, I'll explain you this. Sometimes what happens is, the like generally what happens whenever we see something, the eye receives the image, right? And the brain processes it and we uh, take that image into our brain and we see that. Uh, but what happens is, <coughs> we actually have two images that is created. One is what we see and the image at the back side of our mind, which we never realize that it is already there. And as a result, what happens is we get two different kinds of images. Uh, you might have seen some movies where a person gets blind uh, because of some accident, not by birth, but uh, after some accident. And uh, that person can move around in the house or maybe touch and feel and hear someone uh, and recognizes that person all by uh, themselves. So this is a kind of stimuli that uh, the subconscious mind gives to the conscious mind because of which the blind person is able to see and uh, uh, recognize. 
this thing actually develops. We say that uh, like when God takes away some senses, he gives some senses. Yes, it is uh, almost true. It is not that, uh, I, I won't say that God is not giving, but yes, body actually takes care of that. Like you have lost your vision. Uh, with constant effort, what happens is if you are constantly feeling that, oh, you should see something, you should see something, you should feel something. So your body takes care of that. And every message that we are communicating to our brain, it takes from the conscious mind and it transmits to our subconscious mind and we can see it actually. So uh, this is how uh, a blind person can cannot see, but he can feel the vision. Uh, now, as I told you, gut feeling, if something goes on in the stomach and then we feel that, uh, yes, something is happening. Uh, a lot of uh, organic chemistry, I would say, a lot of diagrams I would uh, have to explain, but uh, not to keep you bored on that. Yes, so gut feeling is that. Uh, nose, I have explained uh, right now with the example that all of a sudden you may get to smell some, some, some uh, aroma. And uh, sometimes those aroma actually signify something or you may remember something or maybe sometimes uh, uh, some, uh, some kind of feelings you get and you are able to get that feeling and it goes to your brain and mind and you start feeling, okay, this is, this is what it is. Uh, fifth is your brain. Now, what happens is with the brain's analytical system, it occupies most of the task. Now, the intuitive system, what it does is uh, it picks up certain gist of the situation. And when your brain is at ease, it again reflects those images back to your brain. And then your brain is able to remember and uh, take those analytical things and take decision. See, intuition works best for those people whose brain is working very strong. And brain works very strong when you have a sound sleep. So the last part of intuition is sleeping. I'll explain the sleep part in uh, a little deeper because uh, sleep happens to be one of the most important thing. And in sleep, a lot of things happen uh, to us. Yeah, do I have any Anjita, questions? Uh, yeah, there is one question from Jinal. Jinal, uh, yeah. how to check if our sense is intuition or any other fear by external message or any other thing? Whom to follow and not to follow? Uh, it's Meenal, right? Yeah. Uh, Meenal, I'll come to your question. Once I finish off this, probably you will get your uh, answer right here. So let me finish off uh, sleep pattern and then I'll answer your question if it doesn't get uh, uh, answered. Uh, is it okay with you, Meenal? Can I hear you? Yeah, Jinal it is. Jinal, uh, Jinal, is it okay, Jinal? I think uh, her voice... Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, fine. Uh, uh, I'll, yeah, complete it. fine. Uh, I'll complete it and then I'll tell you. Uh, images of, uh, um, sorry, I was with uh, sleep, yeah. Uh, images of things you encounter during day are stored in your brain, right? Uh, often playing out in a giant mashup when you're sleeping. And uh, during your REM, like uh, when you're sleeping, there are two stages of sleep. One is your REM, REM, that is rapid eye movement. Generally, uh, whatever you see, whatever dreams you see during this rapid eye movement, you can remember when you get up and it is all in colored. And the other part is black and white. When you are into deep sleep, probably you do not remember and that is all in your gray scale. So this is, this is your sleep pattern. So in your REM stage of sleep, your brain connects instantly replace those relevant ideas. REM sleep is good for problem solving and decision making because your brain is putting pieces together and trying to find out new alternatives, right? So you see something, you feel something in the morning, in the daytime, and when you go to sleep, uh, your brain starts to work and it takes all those bits and pieces, it's like puzzle, and puts it in one place and then uh, 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 it starts to give you some new alternative. To gain new insights, that wouldn't occur to you when you're awake. Uh, this has been said by uh, some researcher. REM also activates the emotional area of the brain. So things that are most important to you on a gut level are prioritized. Several researches show that a moment of sudden insight of discovery 
follow you follow uh, after rem sleep each time you choose wisdom as your advisor you come closer to making the choice of the life in a right way and trust me that's the advice you want to take right and uh, don't lose your sleep like sometimes what happens is uh, due to intense pressure and tension we uh, tend to lose sleep but that is a wrong thing that we do so don't lose your sleep over difficult situation tuck in and let your intuition percolate to help foster dream uh barlet recommends dream incubation that's a process so dream incubation what happens write down a problem the problem that you're having and think about it deeply just before you go to bed then intuition find the solution for it and when you get up in the morning fresh you will have some idea i'll tell you what i had a problem uh somebody had actually hacked my account and uh, uh, the person who had hacked my account fb account he was uh, managing things uh, on his own so i was not able to log into the system and i was i was intensely uh, intensely upset on that why because uh, after every one two hour he was contacting one of the person in my friend list and i was asking money on my name saying that uh, i am in deep trouble please don't call anybody at my place uh, and just but the amount was so very small and he was trying to contact all people and i had around uh, 2500 people in my friend list so he was asking just submit 2500 and this is my bank account please do it urgently some people did and some people just gave me a call that what happened to you are you okay and all so i was uh, feeling that what should i do and uh, how do i how do i let's uh, just get out uh, get rid of this so what i did was i started to think about it and i really got worried about it and uh, uh, i started getting my migraine so i took a pill and i slept over and uh, applied some balm and uh, thanda tel and everything that would make that that would make me feel relieved in the morning when i get uh, got up uh, i saw on the paper uh, that uh, uh, mr navneet sikera he happened to be the sdf chief here in lucknow uh, of up uh, was giving was delivering some keynote address at some conference related to cyber crime and somehow i knew mr navneet sikera because he had been a guest speaker uh, who came to our college i just gave him a call and you won't believe my problem was actually solved by him he gave me some steps as to how to tackle this problem right now i am using my old fb account with all my friends intact and i could actually track the person who had done this and i reported it to the cyber crime cell so uh, that is how sleep happens and this is how you should believe your instinct uh, when it is coming fresh to you uh, your question uh, was uh, if it is a wishful thinking or it is uh, intuition yes sometimes it is a wishful thinking that comes to our mind uh, it's like uh, all of a sudden in the morning uh, you see the photograph of priyanka chopra and then you start to think that uh, if priyanka chopra can be miss india why not me i have a very good figure i look very good i'm fair i'm i'm very smart i have I'm a person with uh, of beauty with brains and everything and you walk to the competition and then you are rejected there see this is a wishful thinking this is not an intuition you should not believe in all these things uh, if you really have the capacity to do it and if you really can work that hard because being miss india or or or, or winning a pageant like that it needs a lot of hard work just working out like that won't solve your problem so when you are having something like this any any issues that you have uh, in your mind just write it down on a piece of paper think deeply about it and go back to sleep 98% times it happens that in the morning when you get up you will have a clear cut idea as to what exactly should you be doing you get stuck and then things actually get to work uh so uh, here it was and uh, here are certain researches that i found out it is all uh, on the basis of intuition uh intuitions power uh, is it a logical thing to happen how can entrepreneurs and non entrepreneur take a uh, decision uh, based on intuition uh, how to think and act on intuition these are gut feeling see the last uh, research is on gut feeling 
so uh, you have lot of things to uh, read uh, uh, you just have to go to uh, all these books are sometimes available on your uh, google play store or uh, maybe the google books you can go and find uh, it's a very interesting topic to uh, read at least if not learn then read at least uh, and and things uh, you can see so uh, as you can see so many researches have been done which proves that intuition is not a gift or it's not just a mystical power but it's a proven fact it's a scientific and a chemical reaction that goes on in the body uh, now next moving on to it if i give a little uh, base of psychology uh, we have something called uh, mbi it is brick mayer's type indicator so in this uh, generally we say in terms of uh, psychology that there are eight type of people in the whole world it so that person can be extrovert or introvert that person can be sensing or intuition intuitive thinking feeling judging and perception and one person can have all these eight characters bind, uh, bound up in a way so that he is actually a combination of any four of this as i've mentioned here uh, you see uh, istg means i is introvert sensing thinking and judging so this is one kind of person so as you can see i have marked four different points to be read that is i n f g i n f p e n f p and e n f g these people according to psychology uh, which is a very uh, hardcore science uh, say that these people are better intuition uh, have a better intuition than other other people who are uh, marked with black they are definitely intuitive intuitive but the amount of intuition they have is not that much as these four people right so why is it so because uh, if you can see that uh, um, these people they have some kind of common factor that is n is common in all that is intuitive right infj are their personality they are very soft spoken they are very uh, imaginative creative uh, they are very insightful enfj they are born leaders but above all everybody is intuitive they have some power of intuition they can feel it and uh, they uh, they work on their intuition and uh, for all of these people world is not just black and white there are several shades of gray between black and white so that is why they can use their intuitive power the most because they have a deeper level of working with their brain so that is what about your um, intuition uh, now uh, this intuition can be amplified or it can you can empower your intuition uh, with certain waves listening to certain waves see there are this five type of waves that your brain creates delta wave uh, i have mentioned the hertz at which hertz means the frequency at which these these waves uh, we all know that uh, waves travel and uh, there is some frequency with which it travels so delta theta alpha beta and gamma so different waves have different uh, uh, functions in the mind this theta wave that is 4 to 8 hertz it is somewhat so and this as it is written it is seen in connection with creativity intuition daydreaming fantasizing and is a repository of memories and sensation i would like to do a short exercise with you all and uh, hope that you feel something different after we have this uh, after we have this uh, particular um, uh, exercise done so um, i hope all of you are sitting in your chair right yeah yes uh just feel very relaxed okay put your hands thumbs uh, 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 this palms upside uh, as if you are placing that on your lap place the place both your hands on the lap right and just close your eyes and take a deep 
breath. Breathe in and breathe out. When you're breathing in, take all the pure oxygen inside you. Let the brain get flushed. Breathe out to throw out all the negativities that you have in your mind. Throw out everything. Breathe in and breathe out. Concentrate on the point right at the top of your forehead where you put girls put a bindi there. Just concentrate all your senses right there. I play a sound Are you all able to hear it? Concentrate on the sound. Just concentrate on the sound. Try to concentrate on the sound and try to see what is coming in front of you. Just concentrate and try to find out what is coming in front of you. You may see a mountain. You may see lots of colors coming in front of you. You may find the face of somebody you have met your friend or someone whom you like a lot. Uh, the audio was not audible to you. You can all slowly open your eyes. Press your palm on your eyes. And feel the warmth of your palm on your eyes. Open it now. Come back, please. Uh, could you hear the sound? 
No. Uh, should I do it again? 